welcome. In this video, we're going to be looking at boarding. In the beginning of a fight, you're going to have an engagement something similar to this or more awkward. You never know. The wind is a mystery. But the main objective here is to demass the enemy ship, in this case an AI. Trader Snow. Now we're going to board him. And for this, you need to hit the hotkey 9. Not no in German, but the number 9. And prepare yourself for boarding. And let your crew get ready as well. Ready to take off survival. <clears throat> And as a much faster ship, I am much easier, it is much easier, well, English, it is a lot easier for me to get a hold of him as fast as possible. Players are <clears throat> on an entirely different level. They can, depending on the skill level, they can very easily read you out. What is your intentions? Are you intending to board if you are they can then see like oh he's not shooting ball at me in the beginning that means he's shooting chain so i gotta go in battle sales due to recent changes to the game as per previous video you're gonna now see exactly why going full sales is a really really bad idea he's already shocked obviously the reloading on the guns was a bit uh, weird because I had you know boarding prep depending on the angle depending on where you are to the enemy ship don't have boarding on now we're gonna pick up speed get the reload in if you can even get in front of him ram him board him pretty simplistic mechanics simply a simplistic method do now is gonna go on this, my left side hit f5 and completely disable it and while I do that I'm gonna go on 100 meters treat my mass a little bit then I'm gonna try and slice mass and now battle sails and let's just crap get in front of him nope actually fail he's going the other way
And now we push him into the dead wind. Drop our sails completely. Keep pushing the masts and the sails into the dead wind to slow down. Hit G for boarding. There we go. <coughs> now, boarding in a uh, against an AI is very simplistic because they do a very specific pattern, but only if you have more crew. If you have less crew, expect the AI to go on defensive against you quite a lot. Here the AI opens up with either one of three things. Fire deck guns, grenades, or musket volley. Most likely it's going to be deck guns. Next, he's going to go with the musket volley. I could be wrong, and it could be grenades, but we'll see. It should be musket volley. If anything, it's grenade, uh, deck guns, grenades. Yeah, okay, so then volleys next. So it goes deck guns, grenades, and then into volleys. No? Okay, attack. The trick about the AI here is just you just wait the last very second, the very, very last second, as it's about to go to tick into zero, and you just hit attack. Here, he's on defense. I'm about to hit on uh, right here on fire that guns. Boom. Perfecto. Do keep in mind if you're fighting players, do not try to predict this kind of pattern where it's very easy. Players can, again, at the very last second, switch to attack or maintain deck fi uh, fire deck guns. It's a very classical move. You sit at fire deck guns and then you switch in the last second to attack. Expecting him to switch over to brace because he's sitting on defend or something in that matter. Here we go and attack. Hit attack. Dead. On bigger ships, these boarding fights are a lot longer, more drawn out. Um, and can, ooh, actually not bad, and can in some cases be a little bit boring to the point where you're just like, oh my god, come on, let's finish this. Due to the loot here being way more than what I can carry, I don't know why he has coal, but whatever, uh, I'm going to bring the ship with me by, again, clicking X, inspecting him, holding him, and then transferring crew. And then leave battle and back to port. And once again, as was going back, as I uh, completely forgot my thought, uh, train of thought. Once you are in a much bigger ship to do the boarding, it can get easily tedious or boring depending on the mods you have on your ship. Mods do help by a lot. So if you have mods for attack, they do indeed help with your attack. If you have mods for musket wally, like the Redoubt musket, the 1766 mu musket, the Brown Bess musket, I think it's called, um, they all help to not only increase the musket accuracy, but also the, uh, the amount of muskets you have in your crew. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was informative for you. If you have any more questions, by all means, please, please, please write down in the comments and I'll answer them as best as I can. More videos will be coming out for the rest of this week and all the way up to the weekend. I'll try and put one to two videos a day uh, regarding the changes and the different gameplay mechanics coming in um, into Naval Action. If not, it already is in, but there are obviously what questions around on how to do X, Y, and Z. If you haven't also already checked out my last video, regarding the group missions and doing them as a solo player by all means check that one out don't forget to hit subscribe and the thumbs up if you liked the video or the thumbs down if you didn't like the video or there's something you disliked about it in general thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye